special day. Let me be the first to wish everyone out there a happy Veterans Day. Hi, folks. This is Brian Anderson. I'm with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, Clay Thompson asked what he thinks about when he's shooting. He said, quote, nothing. You want to have a clear mind, a free consciousness, and just let it fly. When you go with the flow, you're in rhythm, and you're not really thinking about it, that's when it feels the best. Brian? Uh, it's a thing of beauty, Allie. Thank you. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. Taking a look at Cleveland, things stacking up nicely for them so far. Number one in their conference and looking formidable. Well, I think for Cleveland, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And don't count on that coming to an end anytime soon. The talent level of this squad is off the charts. And with the momentum they're gathering here early in the year, it could steamroll through the season. A look at the opening lineup for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell. And it's Levert in at the small forward position. And for the Warriors, the core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Andrew Wiggins. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Well, buckle up. It's opening night. No more talk. Let's play some games that count, Brent. Everybody in playoff contention, B.A., so super excited. One of the best nights of the year. Awesome to be here and awesome for all NBA fans. The three from Curry, and he buries his first look. The accuracy that Curry has from that kind of range is just jaw-dropping. He does not miss that many shots from that deep. Now here's Mitchell. Allen with a screen, Thompson. Here's Mitchell over Looney, and that one's good. Mitchell. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Here's Curry. Against Sacramento, he was really on his game. Mobley grabs the board. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups, so maybe just a step too far. Now, here's Green. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Curry against Garland. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Allen finds Mitchell. Just five to shoot. Cleveland needs to get off a shot from the high post. He can't get that one to fall. And Golden State will come the other way. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. Last year, they made easy work of this club, sweeping the two-game season series. Sort of representative of how they each finished the season. One a playoff team, the other on the outside looking in. I think things may play out the same way this year, too. And we think back to 2015, Grant. Clay Thompson with the best quarter in league history. Oh, B.A., 37 points from him in one quarter, setting an NBA record. Clay 13 for 13 from the field and 9 for 9 from deep, taking only four dribbles the entire time. Only Clay Thompson, guys. The first one falls. 2022. What a year for Golden State. Another NBA title. Unbelievable. From the worst record in the league, climbing back on top, getting their big three healthy. Man, as long as you have a healthy Steph Curry, I think you're going to have a chance to get there. What a run they were on. Both free throws good from Thompson. Man, 941 days away from being on the floor. And that had to be so difficult for Klay Thompson. You think about his contributions last year in the finals run, and I don't think he was ever fully healthy. But it's so great for the Warriors in their trio to have Klay back on the court. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. The Warriors have gone one for three so far. Outside Curry. And he sinks the 11-footer. Curry's got five. 
And during his return from a torn ACL and a torn Achilles, Clay was his own harshest critic. Well, really tough to be away that long, B.A., and the emotions, the thoughts that go through your head about regaining your form, being an elite player once again. And that doesn't just come from you. You've got to have a great team around you, and that goes for the physicians, the teammates, the coaching staff, and the front office to get Clay back to where he was in the finals last year. Now here's Thompson. Ooh, solid defense from Mitchell. Spins. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He has seven. The Warriors have gone two for five here in the first. Curry against Garland. Inside. Green finds Curry. Beyond the arc. He buries it from three. So Steph Curry, the best shooter in the world, is open and has the ball. Yeah, that's what I thought. For Cleveland, they've gone just three for seven here at the start. Outside Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Thompson. From deep, Mitchell. Rebounded by Green. Golden State has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Curry. Fires the three. On the attack, Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Raymond Green taking it out on the rim that time. And how about our AT&T 5G slam can? Couldn't have captured that play any better. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. It's a five-point game. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Allen with a screen on Curry. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Kevon Looney picks one up. And Darius Garland has proven he's a franchise player, Grant. And the upside is still there for him. Oh, wow. He could be one of the best guards in the league when he hits his prime. He gives you everything you want from a point guard. This team was patient with him, and it paid off. And the first one at the line is good. And you know, guys, I don't think too many people expected the resurgence we saw from the Cavs last season. It started with their defense. Garland hits them both. Well, in terms of their D, the Cavs have gone from one of the softer teams in the league to one of the toughest. Well, think about this. I mean, they're a young team. They play with tremendous energy. And we see that in the way they get after it on defense. Now here's Wiggins. He had 25 points in his last game. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Here's Levert. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Six to shoot. Mobley, a screen on Thompson. Levert passes to Allen. Garland for three. And another miss by Cleveland. The Warriors leading. To the middle. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. And Wiggins' game continues to evolve. You saw that right there. Good eye movement found the shooter. Cleveland has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. It's Levert on the wing, hounded by Wiggins. The shot by Levert, no good. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their Take greatest break. obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps.
That free throw misses. If you have the good fortune of playing next to superstars in this league, there are certain guys who thrive in that environment, and Kavon Looney has been one of them. So he comes up empty, missing both. As impressive as the numbers were for Mobley as a rookie, the consistency stood out the most, Grant. Yeah, no question, B.A. Mobley shows up and makes an impact every night. He just finds ways to help the team even when the shots aren't there. He's the type of player that fits with any system. Now here's Looney. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Wiggins. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. And here's Mitchell. Ten points for him. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. And a miss there on the triple. The Warriors have got six of ten attempts to fall. Green finds Thompson. Back to Green. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Defensively, you pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Wiggins against LeVert. Here's Allen. Rebounded by Green. Green's got a rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Looney. To the paint. Here's Thompson. Again, the Warriors score. And that's a shot Clay Thompson is very capable of making. The Cavs trailing. And here's Mobley. And that's a foul called on Stephen Curry. That's his first foul. And some changes here. For the Warriors. Green's checked in for Looney. And it's Poole in for Clay Thompson. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Love's checked in. Levert outside. Pass to Love. Five to shoot. The three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got a sixth rebound on the night. Outside Curry. The three. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to be Evan Mobley. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have Mind been the thus far. The well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. And the free throw, no good. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back to back. The offensive rebound. Oh, that's good. Yeah, strength and attitude there on the glass shown by Kevin Love. Golden State has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Pass to Curry. Green with a screen on Garland. Here's Curry. And that one good. Curry's got 13 now. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Pool outside. Six on the shot clock. 4-3. And he buries his first look. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. 
And it's Love missing. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Green, the pass to Poole. Now Curry jacks up a three. Love grabs the miss. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Takes a three. Gets the three ball to go. Love's got his second bucket on the night. Love is awesome at reading the defense. When they're not up on him, he's going to let it rip. Poole finds Curry. It's Poole on the wing. Pass to Green. Drains it. Now he's three for five. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. 156 left in the first quarter of the game. Outside Love. Back to Garland. Here's Osman. Here's Love. Rebounded by Green. Couldn't quite line that one up. Just got to shake it off and move on to the next one. Curry passes to Poole. Green with a screen on Garland. Pass to Green from downtown. Love with the defensive effort. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Outside Garland. Outside Love. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by Green. Green's got eight rebounds in the game. Poole outside. Outside Curry. Puts up a three. No good that time. And it's Cleveland the other way. Here's Wade. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And the shot is good by Garland. Well, Garland, a volume shooter right now from deep. He's capable of getting hot. Golden State has gone four of nine from beyond the three-point line in this first quarter. Poole, the pass to Green. Kaminga with it. There's 25 seconds left in the first quarter. The three from Curry. No good there. The Cavaliers shooting around 32% to begin this game. Love gets it to go. Three makes, nine attempts. Love feeling home right now on the inside. Skilled at getting his shot off, using his body, and scoring around the defense. Pass to Poole. The three is up, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Poole's got six. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. He dropped three threes in that quarter. They haven't found an answer for him yet. We'll be back in a moment. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. Yeah, defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Golden State has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. On the court right now for Cleveland. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Karis LeVert is out there with Mitchell. And it's Osman in at the small forward. And that one's good. Poole. Poole's got his third bucket of the night. And Poole showing more and more signs of maturity. Hard to rattle. Outside Mitchell. Launches a three. Looney grabs a miss. The Warriors shooting 59% in this one. A good average. Thompson passes to Poole. Back to Thompson. Over Levert. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got his fourth rebound in this one. 
Mitchell against Wiggins. Mitchell, the pass to Levert. Now Allen. Back to Levert. There's the triple. Hits the trifecta. Levert's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. I always wonder about those bigger guys, how much easier a read is like that, and Allen finds the open guy set up to shoot it. Looney finds Thompson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. When you look at the age of Jared Allen, the way he's developed, he could be a top five center in the league very soon. Fantastic impact on the court he has. Shooting two. And he makes a first. And Allen has the defense and finishing that you want from the center spot, Grant. Yeah, B.A., Allen can switch on the guards with ease. Great lateral movement and contest very well. Having a center that can do that is huge for a team. Both free throws good from Thompson. Well, you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Pass to Mobley. Thompson against Levert. Now here's Mitchell. Shot clock at six. From deep. It's another three for Cleveland. You'd love to see Mitchell explode like this on offense. A guy who has so much potential as an elite scorer. Poole, the pass to Looney. Outside Kaminga. Down low. Here's Wiggins. And he banks in the layup. Wiggins got the second bucket on the night. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Pass to Mobley. From deep, Mitchell. The rebound by Clay Thompson. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And he lobs it up top. And an emphatic jam on the lob. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Levert outside. Here's Allen. Outside Mitchell. Driving to the basket. Uses the glass on the layup. Mitchell's got 15 points. All heart. Mitchell scoring down low. I mean, Donovan plays the game with such fashion. The Warriors have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. The three from Thompson. And the Warriors with another three. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Now here's Mitchell. Last game out, he had 38 points. Pass to Allen. Here's Osman. Clock at six. Another shot. And Allen finishes inside. And that kind of bucket for Allen is just injecting energy into the team. One of the best offensive rebounders in the NBA. Mitchell against Poole. Thompson, a screen on Mitchell. Poole. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mitchell drives in, and Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. We saw one major rule change in the NBA last year. When a shooter intentionally initiates contact with a defender, it's a no call. You like it? Yeah, I do like that. I mean, there should be no reason for a, a shooter to be the one with a defender on him, to be the one putting his body on the line. That's the defender's job. So the rule makes a lot of sense, B.A. Now here's Levert. Wiggins with a steal. And one thing they've done well is take care of the ball. That's their first turnover of the game. Don't expect Looney to be the guy out there in transition, but a nice job running the lane. Cleveland has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Osman, hounded by Wiggins. 
Allen against Looney. Knocked loose. Stolen by Wiggins. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. Here's Levert. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Levert's got five points. Listed height might be 6'5 for Levert, but he plays bigger than that with his leaping ability and desire. Golden State has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Poole against Mitchell. Thompson outside. Now here's Looney. Tightly guarded. Down to five on the shot clock. Poole outside. Here's the three. Cavaliers with a rebound. Mobley's got a rebound number five here tonight. Levert outside. There's the three. Looney grabs a miss. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Poole from long range. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got six rebounds here tonight. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. And Allen gets it to go. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter, but they're starting to pick it up now. Wiggins outside. The three ball. And the Warriors miss again. For Cleveland, they've gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. And Mobley with the basket on the assist from Levert. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Here's Thompson. He's got nine. Outside Kaminga. Now Looney. Wiggins outside. Pass to Poole. Thompson, a screen on Mitchell. Let's it fly. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Now here's LeBert. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. That's a great finish from J.A. A high percentage look inside from a very high percentage shooter. The Warriors have gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Now here's Poole. Give him 8. Oh, Thompson from deep three-point land. Here's Looney. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. And some changes here for the Warriors. Green's checked in for Kaminga. Moody comes in for Clay Thompson. And it's Curry in for Poole. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Kevin Love's checked in for Allen. Wade comes in for Osman. Okoro is checked in for Levert. And Garland is subbed in for Donovan Mitchell. And that one misses. For Cleveland, they've gotten 8 of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. Here's Okoro. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And they're in a better flow this quarter offensively, and their shooting percentage is steadily rising as a result. Now here's Curry. To the inside. And there's a three-second violation. And while we have a break, here were some of the top free throw shooters in the game last season. Jordan Poole on top. Stephen Curry is second. From the free throw line, those two were almost automatic last year. What great assets they are late in the game. Outside Garland. Pass to Wade. Outside Love. Fires from deep. Looney with some nice D. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. 
Wiggins passes to Curry. Green's checked in for Looney. Lopez, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Wiggins finds Green. Just five on the clock. The three is up. Tipped. Well, how about that? Kevin Love getting up and making a statement block there. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Green. Outside Garland. Fires for three. Knocks down the long J. Garland's got eight. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Curry against Garland. Pass to Moody for three. Love grabs the miss. Love's got five rebounds in the game. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Garland with the ball. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Green. Here's Moody. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Outside Curry. And here is Green. Trying to get back on track. And it's hammered home by Green. And that really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Grant, these second-chance buckets could be what this game comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. And watching Draymond Green play, Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. Pass to Curry. It's stolen by Garland. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on Stephen Curry. And Garland does a good job there getting the shot up into the air while he's being fouled. Brent at the center position, it does feel like we're seeing a reemergence of the big man, the traditional five. Yeah, B.A., I think it comes down to whether or not you have one or not. I mean, there are teams that just don't have the bruising big that can go down into the post and, and dominate possessions to slow things down and get to the paint. Other teams are electing to want to play faster and with more skill. So it comes down to how a team wants to set their roster up as to whether or not the traditional five is part of your action. Jerome's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. Mitchell's checked in for Cleveland. Garland hits them both. The Warriors trailing. 144 left to play in the second quarter. Here's Jerome. Outside Curry. Three pointer. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Love's got his sixth rebound on the night. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. And that bucket makes him four for seven today. Good production. And that's just a tough shot from Garland taking the contact. Pass to Green. Here's Moody. 105 left in the second quarter. Six on the shot clock. Green with a screen on Garland. Here's Curry. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, Brent, not many players love the grind of the game like Stephen Curry. Well, when you get to a point, B.A., where you're practicing and you only count the makes if it's a swish and you count it as a miss when you hit the rim, attention to detail like that gives you all-time greats like Steph Curry. Shoot two. And that one falls for Curry. Yeah, so easy to root for Stephen Curry because of how much fun he seems to have 
on the floor, embraces the competition, but is able to laugh it off when something doesn't go his way. A lot of things do, though. And so Curry nails both of them. 58 seconds left to play in the first half. Mitchell with the ball. 15 points in the game. Outside love. Garland against Curry. Garland, the pass to Love. Shot clock at five. And that one's good. Mitchell. Kevin Love, great recognition as of what was happening there. Saw the floor, saw the teammate, and saw the passing opportunity. To the middle. Here's Curry. And the layup falls. Curry's got four points in the quarter. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. The Cavaliers leading. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. There's a screen. Garland for three. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Garland against Curry. Nice D from Garland. Just a big time effort for Donovan Mitchell. Providing a lot of energy for Cleveland. And that quarter was all about him. Leading the comeback charge. Now they're up in this one. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Here with Coach Steve Kerr, your defense struggling to contain them in the first half. How do you remedy it? We got to uh, get back in transition. We got to make them feel us. You know, they're just running anything they want. We've got to at least disrupt the stuff they're trying to do. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Tonight's featured game sees the Cleveland Cavaliers in a tight one. This is the kind of game that doesn't get decided until the 25th hour. Uh, Ernie, you know I have four degrees, and there's only 24 hours in a day. Unless you think we're going to be here till 1 a.m. Shaq, he just means it's going to come down to the last second. Well, then say what you mean, Ernie. No need to be cryptic. Jeez. And now, guys, let's talk about these Warriors and this close game they find themselves in. Well, their rebounding effort is insulting. They got to play bigger and get meaner. Right now, they're just getting pushed around like I push Kenny around. You say they're getting uh, pushed around, big fella? Like that, getting pushed around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. And you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. The core of the dynasty all on the floor. Curry and Clay, the guards, with Draymond up front at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. That's the Warriors five. Just love the flow and the mechanics of what Clay does so efficiently with that J. And here are the Cavaliers now. They lead by one. Garland against Curry. Garland, no good. And the Warriors shooting at a respectable 49%. Looney finds Curry. For the lead. That shot off. And it's Cleveland the other way. Pass to Allen. No luck on that one. Looney with some nice D. Green in the post. Covered by Mobley. Thompson passes to Curry. Thompson with a screen. And there's Curry on the assist by Thompson. Curry's got 20 points. And Curry right now dialed in. Looks like he finds a shot every trip down the floor. 
Here's Garland. Oh, it's blocked by Green. And he's able to get it back. And another miss by Cleveland. Might be time for the coaching staff to bust out a play for him to get going. 0 for 4 to start the half. Pass to Thompson. Steps back. Curry gets the bucket. 22 points for him. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's 3 of 4 from the field. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. Don't take possessions like that one all day. Again, Garland missing. Things have been a little bumpy coming into the second half. Five straight misses. Looney passes to Wiggins. Mobley with the block. Three for three. And the Warriors with another three. Now, Draymond Green imposing his will and now making threes. This spells trouble with a capital T. And the Cavaliers call time here. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. They really need to reshape their defense. They have to get out to him quicker to slow his three-point attack. With a break here, let's see which teams racked up the assists during last year's campaign. Number five, the Warriors. You take a quick look at their assist totals from last season, and it's really impressive. A direct product of the disciplined, unselfish culture that this franchise represents. Passes to Allen. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's his first foul of the game. Curry against Garland. Can they get it? He drops it from range. Garland's got 17. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. And here's Curry for three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Garland against Curry. Outside Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. From outside the arc. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got seven rebounds in the game. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. You've got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Here's Levert. Deflected. Well, nice defense from Looney, able to totally upset the shot because of his positioning. Wiggins passes to Looney. It's Wiggins on the wing. Outside Curry. Let's it go from deep. Levert with a rebound. Cleveland has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. And it's Allen who slams it home. You could put that ball just about anywhere for Jared Allen. Puts those long arms to great use. Golden State with the ball. They're on a 13-5 run. 
Curry passes to Looney. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. Pass to Wiggins. Ooh, Lavert with some nice D. The Cavs trailing to the paint. And stolen by Green. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And the Warriors making a switch here. Pools checked in. The Cavaliers shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. Here's Garland. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists take because how this take team is moving the ball. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. That's good from Garland. hits them both so it's the Warriors now they held a 12 point lead earlier and here's Poole give him 8 fades back it's rebounded by Cleveland well the defense was right up on him so electing to go for the fadeaway there to create some room well that makes sense Garland the pass to Allen and he comes up with a bucket. Allen's got 10 points. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And here are the Warriors now. It's a one-point game. Pass to Poole. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got 10. Cool, extending himself and finishing over the defense inside. Now Mitchell. This for the tie. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got his third assist of the night. And one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their core up. Could be a game changer though with this roster. Even with all they gave up to get him. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. And he can't get the first one. And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four at times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. And he's good on the second. Big trip to the line. He did not get all of them, but at least they hold the lead now. Now Mitchell. 21 points in the game. For the lead! Kaminga pulls it in. Golden State has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Poole, the pass to Green. Tips it. That's a great pass from Draymond Green. Just understands where his guys are going to be. Cleveland has gone two for five from three since halftime. Inside, here's Mitchell, and he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. 
and his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And it's the Warriors with the ball. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. Here's Thompson, and that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got five assists tonight. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. The Warriors have gotten eight of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Poole's shot is off. Well, Cleveland's shooting just 36% in the third. Pass to Mobley. Back to Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. And at six foot three, Mitchell gets high up there for those slams. I love that he didn't settle for the layup on that play. The Warriors leading. Now here's Poole. Ten points for him. Thompson outside. Allen against Green. And it's hammered home by Green. And that's a double-double for him now. And nobody putting out much of an effort to stop him. Surprising. In a close game, a lack of energy on defense. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. Here's Levert following the score by Golden State. Mobley down low. Kaminga's on him. Mobley, no good. And for the Warriors, they're shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Pass to Wiggins. Down low, Green. And blocked! That one goes careening off the glass. And here's Thompson for three. The rebound by Osman. Osman's got four rebounds now. And here's Levert for three. The Warriors pull it in. Wiggins has got five rebounds tonight. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, the Cavaliers shooting at a decent clip, 45% for the game. Here's Levert. They get it again. Outside Mitchell. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Thompson. He's checked by Levert. Pool from long range. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. He told me this was the kind of game he was going to have. I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Mitchell against Wiggins. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. And Grant Donovan Mitchell wears the number 45. Not one we see a lot of in the NBA. That's true, B.A. But Donovan's got a good reason to wear it paying homage to Michael Jordan. Mitchell said growing up, everyone always took 23, so he went to MJ's Shoot return two. number, 45. That free throw is good for Mitchell, and the Warriors make some changes. Green's checked in for Green. Moody comes in for Kaminga. And Jerome subbed in for Thompson. Love is checked in for Cleveland. Wade comes in for Osman. It's both from the stripe. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Now here's Green. Inside, here's Wiggins, and the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Quick into the air, Andrew Wiggins up and throws it down. The Cavs trailing. Here's Levert. Five points in the game. 
Mitchell with the ball. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in, and right now I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. Mobley with the block. And that'll be Golden State's ball as it goes out of bounds. Warriors able to keep possession. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. And here are the Warriors now. Green with a screen on Mobley. Wiggins passes to Green. And that one's in. Nice feed on the play. Green's got his second bucket of the night. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. And the Cavs shooting around 32% in the third quarter. Poole against Mitchell. Pass to LeBert. Mobley on a screen. Five on the clock. Here's Wade. Stolen by Wiggins. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jermichael Green. That'll be a second foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And we've got 118 left in the third. Here's Wade. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Mitchell. Over Poole, and that one's good. Mitchell. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. It's a close one here in San Francisco. Here's Jerome. He's checked by Levert. Poole with a ball. Left side, Green. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Kevin Love. And Poole playing aggressive on the inside, just forcing the defense to come at him. Throw good. Poole. And Jordan Poole has stepped onto the NBA stage and not ever backed down from a challenge. He plays with tremendous confidence. And both free throws good for Poole. 36 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Levert outside. There's a screen by Love. Offline with a three. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And here's Poole. Green with a screen on Mitchell. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Warriors on top, up six. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return.
And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. On the court right now for Cleveland. Love and Allen, the pair down low. Garland and Levert team up in the backcourt. And it's Wade in at the three, the small forward. Pass to Wade. Outside Garland. Shoots over Curry. Darius Garland with a terrific move in the bucket. Garland's got 21 points in the game. Garland showing some awareness on the pick and roll, breaking down the defense on the pick and roll action. Pool outside. Now Green. Back to Pool. Down to five on the shot clock. Green with a screen on Garland. Three pointer. And there's Green on the assist by Poole. And the Warriors lead by seven. Well, when you can score the ball and the defense makes adjustments your way to do that, Poole has to take advantage like that. Garland against Curry. Love a screen on Curry. Here's Garland. Here's Allen. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Always a threat in the painted area. Jared Allen just too long inside. Outside Curry. Pass to Poole. Now Green. Back to Poole. Takes the three. Love grabs the miss. Love's got seven rebounds in the game. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Garland up top. Curry with a seal. Here's the break. And he lays it in on the break. 24 points for him. Well, right now, Steph is just toying with the defense, and it feels like he is the puppeteer in this basketball game. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Outside Garland. Pass to Wade. Allen on the wing. to shoot. It's stolen by Green. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's Poole. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Garland. There's a screen. This one for three. Sinks it from distance. Garland's got five points now this quarter. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. And here's Curry. It's good. Curry's got nine points here in the second half. Well, Looney knows his role, good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. For Cleveland, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Levert finds Love. Back to Levert. Outside Love. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Golden State. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Pass to Curry. Looney against Allen. Poole with the ball. Banked it in off the glass. And it's an eight-point Warrior lead. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Now Levert. Love a screen on Poole. Levert outside. Launches it. Unable to get that one. And Golden State will come the other way. 
pass to Thompson. Now here's Curry. Back to Thompson. Fires the three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Thompson's got 19 points. Uh, he's been incredible in this half. Anytime he pulls up from outside, you think that's bottoms. Love a screen on Curry. Here's Garland. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Well, Garland taking the bump that time, and pretty good focus on that play. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Mitchell's checked in for Wade. What's up? Free throw, no good. Golden State has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And you can't leave the basket unprotected. Bad things will happen to you. Yeah, that was just way too easy. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. The Cavaliers have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Pass to Love. Now here's Mitchell. Love a screen on Poole. From deep, Mitchell. Rebounded by Green. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting him rip. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. And Cleveland shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Mitchell, a screen on Curry. Garland for three. No good. So Golden State will take it the other way. Curry draws the double. Here's Thompson. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. And here are the Warriors now. They're on a 16-7 run. Pass to Looney. Outside, Green. Six to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. The three from Curry. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his ninth assist of the game now. Levert passes to Allen. The three from Mitchell. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number eight now. Pass to Curry. Here's Thompson. Outside, Green. Thompson with a screen. On the attack, Green. Oh, rejected by Allen. And Jared Allen in great position that time and just looking to swat that shot away. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Green against Allen. Green, the pass to Curry. From the arc. The rebound by Garland. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Outside Mitchell. Love a screen on Poole. Knocks down the triple. Mitchell's got 33. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. Pass to Looney. And here is Green. to the middle the three from Curry the rebound by Allen Allen's got nine rebounds in the game boy he's getting it done out left to the wing Curry against Garland pass to Mitchell back to Garland there's the triple and the rebound goes to the Warriors Looney's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Thompson outside. Looney, a screen on Levert. Thompson passes to Looney. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Well, the defender was all over Kevon Looney, and he got physical right back. That's a nice play.
he knocks down the first one. In the second half, their free throw percentage has improved, hitting in the low 80s now. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Poole. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for Love. And so he hits both. Hey, when you start locking it down at the line, good things tend to happen. And Cleveland's shooting about 43% on this one. Pass to Mobley. Now here's Garland. Mobley, a screen on Curry. Here's Garland. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Shooting one. One shot. That's good from Garland. The Warriors have gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. And out of bounds. The Cavs will take it. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. The Cavs have gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Mitchell up top. Defended by Thompson. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Going beyond mere stats, Mitchell breathes life into this offense. His energy lifts everyone around him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. one falls for him. Both free throws good for Mitchell. Golden State has gone three of six from downtown so far in the fourth. And a deep three from Curry. And the Warriors miss again. And the Cavs shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to Levert. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Now here's Levert. He's covered by Curry. Just five on the clock. Mobley on a screen. Here's Garland, and the deficit down inside single digits. Garland's got 31 points. Now it feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Looney, rejected by Allen. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. Thompson passes to Green. Back to Thompson. Clock at six. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Allen. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. That one misses. And I think just everyone around basketball wanting to get Clay Thompson back to 100% health. I mean, this guy is a force and a lights out scorer from all areas on the floor. And he sinks the second. For Cleveland, they've gone seven for 15 in the fourth. From deep, Mitchell. Rebounded by Green. 
Green's got a rebound number 15 here tonight. Pass to Curry. Takes one from 10 feet, and that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. The Cavaliers shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Mitchell against Thompson. Right side, Mitchell. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Forty-four left in the final quarter. Takes a step back. And here's Curry for three. Connects from downtown. Curry's got 12 now in this quarter. How about a little bravado from Steph? Defender in position, and Curry decides, I'm going right at you. From deep, Mitchell drills it from deep. Oh, you got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line, and trying to take advantage from distance. Now here's Curry. Here's Looney. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And the Warriors lead by 10. And Looney's a guy you can rely on on both ends of the floor. Outside Mitchell. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Well, he's been carrying them all night on offense, but at some point, he's going to need some help. Golden State has gone four of eight from three-point land during the fourth. Thompson outside. Curry passes to Green. Out to Thompson. It's stolen by Garland. good and that narrows the gap to seven he's perfect from the line this time he showed a lot of composure that trip to the line now it's almost a one possession game and so it's Golden State with it at one point, they led by 16. Well, if they score here, they could effectively end this one. Yeah, and their main objectives right now, taking care of the rock and using some time. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Cleveland calls timeout. They're down by eight. 34 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Your thoughts, guys? And they need to execute fast out of this break.
34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Garland with the ball. Green picks him up. From deep, Mitchell. Can't hit that one. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Wiggins with it. The three. Another three for Golden State. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. We love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. What you love about Mitchell, he plays with energy, explosiveness, and courage. Shooting two. He gets the first, and that brings him within 10. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Jerome. And so the Warriors take the win. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Steph, I know it's still early, but how do you evaluate this team and its ability to go the distance? Uh, in terms of communicating about our principles and how we're going to be successful, trying to chase another championship, we're definitely uh, on the same page. Just a matter of staying focused every night, giving the best effort we can, and just you know enjoying the journey because it's a long year. Well, you've been there. You know what it takes. Thanks, Steph. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Barry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Stephen Curry.